It's been about three months since I first bought this green lump of metal. At the start, it was just a vehicle to me that could go off road and that was a four by four. It was just a random truck that had a badge Land Rover on the front. But over the course of time, it has grown on me so much. It's gained an identity, a place I can call home, a place I feel comfortable and have a belonging. It has a sense of meaning, a sense of travel and adventure, exploration. It's also given me a huge purpose. It's developed my skills in ways I didn't think I could, from woodwork to mechanics to building to being creative, skills you don't often tap into. It's allowed me to create content on it to share worldwide on this platform. It's connected me to such a beautiful community of the off-road and overlanding clan. The people that want to go against the grain and live out of the back of a vehicle to be rough and ready to face the unexpected, to face a potential breakdown or problem. The people who spend more money on parts and overlanding kit than on materialistic junk. It's been about two months now since I've been living in Percy, one month full time, and it's been absolutely amazing. But this has been one hell of a journey and one that I've enjoyed massively. And this big lump of metal has now become Percy, my traveling companion, a place where I can get my head down, where I can cook, where I can travel, where I can go off road. At the start, there was a lot of concerns and worries, but now my trust and my faith is in this vehicle. It was the best decision I've ever made. Whilst up north and still travelling around in Percy, I met up with Jake and his brother Ben, and we spent a few days hill walking, travelling about, and staying in some beautiful park ups. We stopped off at the famous Clagayan for a pint and the following day walked up Bucklet of Moor, which is a beautiful Monroe that I've always wanted to do. Clear skies, snowy patches and a long day of walking in the Scottish Highlands. What more could you possibly ask for? Like the usual procedure, it was time to find somewhere to park up for the night. Somewhere quite peaceful, not in anybody's way, and leaving no trace as much as we can. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> After appreciating how beautiful it was and how lucky we'd been with the weather, it was time to set up camp. For me, it's my 270 bat awning and organising the back so I can sleep in it whilst I wait for my rooftop tent. Then it's a case of getting my Altega fire pit out so the fire's off the ground and maybe reading a good book. Evenings outdoors like this are so wholesome and truly bliss. Sitting around an open fire and sharing stories and memories as well as good food. Looking up at the stars and breathing in the fresh air. Thanks for Lugie. This is I'm real deal. This looks so good. Um, oh, this Cheers. looks amazing, doesn't it? Waking up in the landy and looking outside at this beautiful view is invigorating, especially when you need to get yourself out of your warm sleeping bag into the cold. This was a divine morning. Everything looked wonderful in this red tinted light. Of course, we started the morning with a coffee made by the AeroPress before heading off to do some fishing. Skin, 
It's snowing. Super chilly. We blanked big time. It was a good crack though. Really cold experience. Snow, ice, spilt coffee and um, good times. <laughs> I think I might get myself another coffee, some food and um, start packing away. After leaving no trace, we left and moved onwards. In the next video you will see I will be in Wales and spending a few days there, exploring the area and staying in a beautiful tiny home. So yeah, it has been an amazing two months traveling around and being in Percy. Like I've said so many times, I've really enjoyed the whole process of the conversion and being new to overlanding. The build still isn't completed, so when it is, I will give you a complete tour of the inside and also all the external gadgets that I will have on the outside, like my awning, my shower curtain and my rooftop tent, which I'm currently waiting on at the minute. I've got so much planned for this year. I hope I can pull it all off. I'm really, really excited for it. There's obviously big trips coming up in Percy, but there's also trips that I will be doing without Percy and it will be more on foot with a backpack or on my bike, bike packing. I like mixing it up. I like the diversity. I really like just doing different things and sharing my content and my experiences with you guys. So I really hope you enjoy and follow all my journeys and my trips. I'm absolutely over the moon with how many people have actually gone out and bought D2s, Discoveries or maybe Defenders from watching my stuff and messaging me and have been inspired to do the same or similar. This is what it's all about. It's being positive, throwing positive vibes out there and inspiring other people to do the same, to get outside and enjoy this wonderful life we've been given. There's been a lot of hardships and a lot of challenges along the way with being a complete newbie and a beginner to conversion and overlanding and mechanics. The last couple of months have taught me so much about how to be minimal and that you don't really need that much when you break it down. You only need a few essentials to get you by and to put inside the vehicle. And this little setup, this tiny home has supplied me somewhere to cook, somewhere to chill, eventually somewhere to sleep on the roof so I can have two places to sleep, etc, etc. Also, in terms of travel this year, I am inviting up to 10 people to come away with me and travel to somewhere this year. My top three destinations so far, Canada slash Alaska, Iceland or Scotland. You can actually join me for a week and you can go hiking, adventuring, whatever it is that you want to do. If you are interested in that, then please fill in the survey that I'll leave in the description and tell me a little bit about you and what sort of trip that you would like to go on. So I am buzzing to share the content with you that I have got coming up. In the next video you will see I will be in Wales and attempting Crib Gok. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all my patrons for making this possible. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Take care, peace.